Hey there, boy Bobcats. Counselor Copeland here with your SEL moment. Did you enjoy your Thanksgiving break? The holiday, wow, it was great. Did you get lots of rest, see lots of family, and eat lots of food? I did too. Well, not lots of family, but I saw enough. Hopefully you are ready to come back and be focused and focus on our SEL theme for the week, which is responsible decision-making. Hmm, what are some examples of responsible decision-making? Making responsible decisions, making the right choices, helping with chores around the house before being asked, studying for your work for the next day, logging on on time and being engaged the entire time during class, those are responsible decisions. Hopefully this week you will get back on track, you will be focused and look forward to our next holiday break, which will take us to the big holiday. You can do it, Boy Bobcats. I know you can because you are always your boy best, virtually and beyond. Have an amazing week and don't forget, reach out to Counselor Copeland if you need someone to talk to. I'm right here, just ask your parents and your teacher. Have a great week, you guys. Bye-bye. Good morning, Mathletes. It's Ms. Underdo coming back at you with another Math Minute. So today I have a game called Hit the Target. With the game Hit the Target, you need a deck of cards, and we're going to keep all of our face cards in, and each face card is going to be valued at 10. Now this game can be played K through 5. Why? Because we're using all four operations. So whatever operation is easy for you is the operation that you can use to play this game. Each player is going to receive five cards, and then there will be one target card. The player who uses the most amount of cards to equal the target card is the winner. So let me show you how you play. All right, so here I have two players who are playing this game. If you notice, our target card is 10. So each of these players is trying to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to make the number 10, okay? So let's look at the first player. There's a 10 here. I have 2, 2, 3, and 2. What if I say 10 times 2 divided by 2? I can make, use 3 cards to equal 10. Now the next player has a 3 a 7, a 10, a 4, and another 10, this player is going to say 2 plus 3 equals 10. So the first player used 3 cards to make 10. The second player used 2 cards to make 10. So the first player is the winner. That player will receive all of the cards, and you'll play again. again. I hope you enjoy this game. Good morning, Bobcats. Welcome back to another week of learning. I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving break. Do you remember to read? I hope that you did because we know that readers are leaders and we want to make sure that our Bobcats are leading the charge on literacy. Bobcats, remember, when you're reading, you have multiple ways to access books. Are you using Mayan? Are you using Epic? Are you using any books that you have in your home libraries? I hope that you are. You can read for your interests. You can read to learn more about something. You can read to go different places. So just make sure that you're reading. And when you're reading, ask questions. Make sure you understand what the author has written. And make sure before you do any of these things, you have a just right book. One that's not too easy. One that's not too hard. But it's just what? That's right. It's just right. I hope that you make the list for our top readers, Bobcats. Remember, you need to read. You need to log your minutes using Beanstack. We're looking for our number one readers, and I hope your name made the list. And last but not least, what do Bobcats do? We stop, drop, everyday read, don't stop. Read, read. That's how Bobcats succeed. Have a wonderful week.